Okay, testing, testing, one, two, testing, one, two. Hi, my name is Makassi, and there is absolutely no reason why this video should exist, but it does, mainly because I have tomorrow off. So I'm in a very, very happy mood, and we are talking about the two items that you saw in the thumbnail, and this is just... I don't have the finished product yet because I haven't worn them enough. I haven't gathered enough data, but I'm just so excited to talk about them. And I'm sure you already seen it on the thumbnail, but I'll grab it anyway because just because <laughs> these are the pannier from the Flagathon collection. This is the Rick Owens Windbreaker from the Gethsemane collection, which is one of my favorite collections from Rick. One of my favorite collection in fashion in general because it has my favorite jacket, the Gethsemane jacket. I think it's the best down jacket of all time from any brand. Like, but we're not talking about that today. Today we're talking about these two products. So, which one do you guys want to talk about first? I'm excited to talk about both. But let's do this jacket first. So, this is the Rick Owens Windbreaker. They call these the Windbreaker with the glove insert. Let's put it on and see how it looks. So, I'm sorry if you're hearing my necklace moving, but this is from the Rick Owens Gethsemane. It was on the runway. I'm sure I'm putting it on the screen right now or earlier or in a second, but let's put it on. This is a size medium, not size small. And, you know, I'm normally a size large and this fits me great. Like... Did you guys see how crazy this piece is? It's shirling, shirl, lamb shirling. This is lamb's wool. And then there are, <clears throat> and then there are calf trimming and the glove insert. This, how crazy is this? And something interesting I want to talk about is, do you see how these two are exposed? Because Rick is, um, he's very, very well, he's very aware of the current climate and you know we use our phones a lot so he gave us these two fingers open so we can use our phone so you can see my my finger going through here my thumb coming out so it's very cool <laughs> but yeah this is um lamb leather it has a waxy finish let me come up closer you can see it has a waxy finish so it's a bit it looks a bit more worn in it looks a bit more like it's been made for so many years it just they made this to look older on purpose like to look worn in or to look worn out to look yeah worn worn in and it just it's such a crazy piece to me and i didn't think i would be able to get this at all because of the price tag which is like six thousand dollars excuse me six thousand dollars because you know lamb leather the crazy design with the gloves and then the shirling so this was never on my radar. I mean, I saw it on the round. I was like, it's a cool look. I really like the glove. That's such a cool detail. So, but then I found it for a good price and I was like, I'm going to get it because it's such a cool piece. And it's from one of my favorite runways, the Gethsemane. Again, it has my favorite jacket. And there are a lot of variation of this jacket on the runway. Maybe I'll shut up and include that right now. But yeah, this piece is such a crazy piece. And something that you don't know is that um, this is my first Sherling piece. I've have had I I've had I have had um fake Sherling, which is called Sherpa. Uh, for example, this jacket right here. This is from the Unique Low and Engineer Garment Collab. So this is Please, this is Sherpa or fake Sherling. It's Sherling to look like it's sure it's fleece or sh Sherpa to look like the real deal Sherling. So this is fake. This is real. And 
it's um the fleece is supposed to mimic or supposed to yeah to mimic and kind of mislead the consumer as to because they also a lot of stores a lot of designers they say they say like it's a shirling coat but then when you read the description it's 100 percent polyester and i am in the middle of gathering data for this video that i'm doing about this coat and i have a lot to talk about with regard to shirling so i will go super super in depth but today i just i'm just so happy to have these two pieces in my closet i just i just want to show it off because this piece is such a fun piece to own like i'm excited to wear this but not i, I can only wear this for like a week or two more but there are clothes in my closet that I'm excited to be seen in, in public or to wear them up because it's so fun because like the glove detail, the exposed armhole that you can close. It just, it's a lot of cool detail. So I look forward to wearing this. Whereas, um, one second, one second. Whereas my own plea say, I'm not that excited to be like, I don't say like, Damn, I can't wait to wear my own plissé tomorrow. I'm not like that anymore or at all. Never. Yeah, I've never been like, I can't wait to wear my own plissé. Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is just like a cozy piece that I wear because it's just so easy to put on and off and they're so comfortable and they work really well against the heat because it's so breathable. But with this piece right here and the pants I got today, I look forward to wearing them because they're so fun. Um, I don't, I don't have a script. I don't, my computer is in here, my phone's over there, but it's just, I think I wrote something down. So maybe I need to re check my phone. Um, I have something, but there's no internal pockets, which is what Rex is kind of known for, but it has two exterior pocket. That is not my favorite. I'll get into that later, but yeah, what else? So yeah, so a couple of versions sizing. So I got this in a size small and I was fairly secure in my choice because when i saw the fit hang on let me zip it up and then you can see when i saw it on the model it looks like this so this was a clear indication that i can get away with a small the model photo looks like this so do you see how the chest area and the shoulders are fairly wide so the only concern i had left with left before i got this piece was the armhole because rick is kind of known for his tight or upper or higher armhole which my clothes jacket have but when i saw how wide this was I was like yep i can i can definitely fit it so this is a size small ideally i would like this to be a size large but it is a crop piece which i like so the sleeves are much longer than the body which is great but oh okay sure it's not true shirling this is my first official Sherling piece, which I'm kind of in love with because I've been sleeping with these just to test them out. You know, my my video has become really, really in depth, water test, sleeping test, everything. So I've been sleeping with these and sh Sherling, it just, it is so, so comfortable. I am considering getting some Sherpa, not Sherpa, Sherling blanket and like Sherling cover blanket, I mean, uh, pillows for next winter because it keeps me so warm and it just, it felt really good sleeping. It's like sleeping. It just, it was a very nice sleeping experience. So I am going to look into Sherling next season for Sherling blanket, or at least one side Sherling, one side down, maybe like the, what's that Rick Owen jacket that has that? I'll put it up it's from the Larry collection. I think they're called the Tyrone jacket, if I'm right. Yeah. But this jacket right here. So it has, shirlings in the front and then leather or down in the back and i believe they re-released it in the stroke collection which my favorite red going model tanya has worn it's really beautiful i actually i had a chance to get it but i missed it i it i took too long and then the last size sold out it was for a really good deal but i wasn't like really loving it it just oh it's a cool piece if i get it it'll be nice if i don't not a big deal but Shirley, this is my first official Shirley piece and it's so good. Like, have you guys bought anything lately that you just, you bought it and then you instantly won like two, three more items with the same fit or the same fabric? That is how I feel about Shirley because they're so different from the Sherpa, which is the fleece, the polyester fleece. They're so different. They may look the same, but it's not at all. Like, it just, it's so, so different. 
And there is a reason why shirling is just so expensive. So these are shave off of a lamb. But I guess this piece I had to get a lamb for it because this is lamb leather. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Peter related stuff, but shirling it's so so good. And one of the standout of this jacket is definitely this detail right here, which is which I love. My friend Swan has another version with the just the calf leather. Not there's no shirling on his. I like this version better. But yeah. Oh, and also there are exposed seams here that the um shirling will come out on the runway, which you should have saw already. Like you see the linings, the seams, like a lot more um shirling comes out. And this has already slowly come out here and there. And the back as well, if you can see. But I think this is one of the cases that's like the more you wear it, the more it will tear itself down. It's like the Rafsim in Nebraska sweater. That one is dyed with enzymes. So the more wear, the more wash you put it through, the more deterioration it's gonna get. And it's 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 a new way of thinking for sure about making clothes because in today's society, it's really about keeping all of the garments that a brand released to look the same, if not similar, like you don't want any deviation, but Rick kind of decided to make these look older on purpose and to show its age the more you wear it, which is nice. It's a nice idea. It's a very avant-garde idea. Same thing about how when Yoji and Ray in the 90, in the in the 80s, when they did all of when when they did all of what they did in the 80s, because it was just it goes against everything that Chanel, Versace, and like all of the Parisian brands were doing at the time. So what they did was revolutionary with the unfinished hem, unfinished whatever, deconstruction, all of that. So this is kind of goes against the current grain of the fashion culture, which is to make it look the same and make it stay the same for as long as possible. But are we looking too deep into it? Or maybe I'll talk about this more. But yeah, I really, I really like this jacket, which I kind of consider a hoodie because of this hood. I mean, I'm a bit indifferent towards the hood and you can zip it up all the way, but I got this in a size small and my head is huge, so I can't zip it up all the way. But we'll get more in depth in the review video. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited to own these. But I think we can stop talking about this, take it off and talk about the pants. These pants I've been wanting for years now, years. These pants were first shown on the Mastodon. I just thought I'd call before I throw myself into the icy lake. I just thought I'd call. And re-released for the Flagathon, which is one of my favorite collections. I don't have to burp or sneeze. Never mind. These trousers, they are called the uh, Rick Owens Pannier Cargo Pants. These have the 3D pockets. Let's just, let's put it on and then we'll talk about it. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing the cocoon trousers, which is just my favorite lounge around pants to be in. It's just silk. It's so good. It's kind of hot today. But these trousers, I am so excited. But um, as you can see, I have pin these up because the length is so long. Maybe I'll put a clip of me trying it on with fit uncuffed, uncuffed. So yeah. But these trousers, these are my, these are my widest trouser because my next widest trouser are my Gaff Bala and possibly my banana pants. But these Gaff Bala trousers are not as wide as these. Let's just look at it. But I am very excited to own these two pieces. Can you see? Can you see how wide these are? Let me put this down here so you don't see it in the frame. But yeah. The Gathbella trousers, which is one of my favorite for sure, but this, these trousers, I've been after for years. My friend has them, and every time I see them wear, I'm like, oh, I'm so jealous. They look so, so good. And normally, I'm not a cargo person, but the 3D pockets, it just, it's such a cool detail. Wait, let's put it on. Enough talking. Let's put it on. Like, come on, just look at this. Look at how good they are. 
the 3D pockets. That is so cool. And I have played with these pockets for a while. You could fit a lot into these cargo pockets or the pannier. I think I would call these the pannier pockets. And I believe another item in the Rick Owens inventory that has the pannier pockets are on the Mastodon. This am I out of focus? Okay. Um the Mastodon. The Mastodon pants, these pants right here. But it just these pannier pockets look so much better on the wide cargo than the skinny silhouette. I, I'm just not a fan. I mean, I might get it if I find it for a good price just to see how the pockets look. But if I had a choice, I would get another one of these with the pannier pockets. Um, these are a size medium. This is called a taupe colorway or dust. And so the Mastodon collection was um, made with moleskin. Moleskin is a type of cotton that's supposed to resemble... Am I out of focus? Okay, there we go. Um, the moleskin is... Moleskin is good. I don't own a lot of pieces of the moleskin, but I own a jacket with moleskin. I forgot where I put it. It's somewhere in my closet. I don't know. Maybe it's in my basement. But moleskin is good. Moleskin is good. And this is made with TE or... It is 97% cotton and 3% elastane. And these pants, I am so excited. I have shot some B-roll with these already. I want them out, I want them to sleep. It's really, really good. And you know how when you wanted something for years, you built it up in your head, all of these expectations you're having. And most of the time, it never reaches the it never reaches the expectation that you have set because there's this quote that I like, it's called happiness is reality minus expectations. So I try not to do it, but when you look at a pair of trousers for like a couple of years now and you think about it and you think about it and then you see your friends where you're like, okay, I'm going to own these one day and when I do, I'm going to love it. But sometimes when you buy stuff, it doesn't meet your expectation, your unrealistic expectation. But these... These actually managed to surpass the expectations that I had for them. And to to an outsider, I'm thinking, this dude is fucking fanning over a pair of cargo trousers. But for the people who understand this form, understand this form, understand the hobby that we're in, which is fashion, high fashion, whatever you call it, avant-garde fashion, they will realize how crazy these pants are because they just are. <laughs> They're so good looking. And obviously, if I had the option, I would get the black, but there wasn't any on the market. So I decided to just get this. I got it for a good deal. It's brand new, which is good. I'm not too big a fan of buying used items. If I could, I would. I don't want to, but I, I have owned a few used items. I bought off eBay and Grail, but typically I would like to buy new. And these trousers, they're so good. Come on. Let me just have a look. Look at how wide these trousers are. Oh my God. The 3D pockets, the pannier pockets, the two side slit pockets, two back pockets with the snap button closure. Everything about these trousers are just so, so good. Um, how about we wear it together with the jacket that we got? Come on, come on. Now that, that's a good fit. Honestly, this will work. I'm glad I'm shooting this today because today is a bit cold. Oh, um, another thing is um, these trousers, they're not high rise. I'll talk about it more in the review, but <laughs> again, this video does not need to exist, but I'm just so happy to own them. I'm so happy that I have a day off tomorrow. So I'm just, I kind of want to just geek out with you guys about these items. I'm sure these pants, most of you, if you are into Rick Owens, you know these trousers. These are just one of the items that will come to define Rick Owens when it's all said and done. But he's not going to die. That, that dude's a vampire. He's not going to die. So, but like, you know, 50 years from now, I think these pants will stand the test of time. Will stood the test of, they'll stand the test of time. Just like how the Kiss Boots and the Geo Basket, the Ramon, has come to... Define Rick Owens. I think these trousers are one of those items. I'm just, I'm so happy to have these trousers in my, in my closet now. And 
Honestly, I am not over exaggerating, but I will wear these all summer long. All summer long, I will wear these trousers. They feel so good on the skin. And I, I found a couple flaws with it for sure because, okay, one of them is it makes so much noise. Let's see. This is just the cons of wearing TE product or 97% cotton, 3% elastane or spandex. Is it elastane or spandex? It's one or the two. I'll put it on the screen, but they are so, so good. They are so good. I don't even know what else to talk about. Let's see. I have some, I wrote some pieces in my notes. Blah, blah, blah. Why does pants, Mastodon, wanted black. Oh, okay, um, I wanted to compare these with my Gath Pilot trousers. To be honest, if Rick wanted to make the perfect trousers, he would get the Bala zippers, put it on these. That's really it. <laughs> these pants are as close to perfect as can be. Now, maybe I'm being overzealous, overzealous with it or overexcited with this because I just got it and... I've been dreaming about owning it for a while, for years now. So I'm like, I'm very high up on these trousers. The adrenaline is still in me and like the excitement is still in me. Maybe in a couple of months it would die down. But at the moment, I'm just, I am so in love with these trousers. I love these trousers almost as much as, my love, as I love my partner. And she has been on my ass about me saying to you guys that, hey, I bought these items for us. So I legitimately texted her, these pants, they are exclusively for me. We are not sharing these trousers. You will not be able to wear it. And I will show you proof right now on the screen. Here's what I said to her. We are not sharing these trousers. I love these. I have owned these. I not own. I have one of these longer than this relationship. So I've been in a relationship with these trousers longer than I've been in a relationship with my partner. But yeah, I think... The Geth Bala, if, if the Bala zippers were to be on here, it'd be perfect. This has the, something that I hate, which is button. It's not even a zipper, it's a button. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this video does not need to be, this video does not need to exist, but it does. Hopefully you found some joy in watching this. How long has it been? It's been 25 minutes. <laughs> so, hopefully you... Hopefully you share my enthusiasm and my the happiness. I hope you feel the vibe that I'm giving out because I am genuinely so happy to have these items in my closet. I know materialistic items shouldn't make me these, this happy, but I've been dreaming about these trousers for so, so long. And it just, it feels so good to have it. And it feels even better when the item you've been dreaming and building up in your head exceed your expectations so it just it's great because i ha i have a, i i've have i've have had a few disappointments with like gorilla worthy pieces i'll talk about that in another video but it just the the more you build it up in your head the less you're going to enjoy because the expectations the item will not meet it the person will not meet it if you build enough expectations for anything you're going to be disappointed so yeah i try to live my life with the least amount of the least amount of expectations as much as possible but sometimes you fall into these traps and one of them are these trousers but yeah i love these i have to be honest the review video for these trousers might be an hour long <laughs> i'm not even kidding i have so much to talk about it's gonna be you know obviously the technical stuff with all the detail the fits the blah 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 but with the opinions and the backstory, the intro is going to be so, so long. I have so many stories with these. But yeah, um, I'm at a point in my life where I feel really, really proud about my closet. And I don't buy fluff pieces anymore. I, I truly am living the advice that I give to everyone, which is buy one thing you love instead of five things that you like. And I've really taken that advice to my heart. and come on i could have easily gone on the internet and search up like cargo trousers for cheaper but it won't make it won't make me it won't make me happy like these trousers makes me happy 
I could go out and buy a jacket that is similar to this, like a Sherling jacket, but it won't be these. And this is from one of my favorite collections. So it just, it, there's a lot of upside to own these pieces. And I am putting this up for sale for now because it's going to be summer soon and I can't wear it. So I am a bit disappointed, but you know, if I can make a few bucks out of it, why not? I'll talk more about, I know, I know reselling is kind of frowned upon, but you know, whatever can't please everybody anyway yeah um i'm very happy that i didn't settle and that i got these trousers instead of getting like you know an imitation of these trousers which a lot exists a lot exists of these imitations or replica but these people if i call their product replica they're gonna get really they're gonna get really sad so let's call them imitations but it's like eating imitation crabs and real crabs. To to a casual, it might it might taste the same, but to an enthusiast, people will know what real crab meat tastes like and what imitation crab tastes like. Similar as to when you see cargo trousers that aren't these, you know that the imitations were inspired by these trousers. But yeah, I'm very I'm very happy. <laughs> I hope I pass on that joyfulness a bit to you while watching this video i don't know i hope you get something out of it you've been spending about 30 minutes with me now i hope you get something out of it but yeah my name is makasi oh um i don't want to keep you guys for too long but this shirt the body shirt and these trousers all summer long all summer long these these items, I'm just, I'm so happy to have them in my closet. It's just, it's such a cool piece. These trousers, this shirt, howdy friends. And then my closet, I'm just, I'm, I'm very happy with my life. And, and I guess we'll talk a bit more, but life hasn't gotten better or gotten worse. I think it's just my, my attitude towards life has improved. So I've learned to block out all the unnecessary noise, all the unnecessary stress, and I really honed in on what makes my life good, what makes my life fun, what makes my life enjoyable, what makes my what what makes my life worth living. So my approach to being alive has gotten better. So I'm appreciating the life that I've had more than ever because I've changed my approach. So yeah, I'm just I'm very happy. I hope you are as well. I know life can be tough sometimes, but there's a story that there's a I made a video called a Chinese farmer. Once upon a time, there was a Chinese farmer whose horse ran away, and all the neighbors came around to commiserate that evening. So sorry to hear your horses run away. That's too bad. And he said, maybe. The next day, the horse came back, bringing seven wild horses with it, and everybody came around in the evening and said, oh, isn't that lucky? What a great turn of events. You've now got eight horses. And he said, maybe. The next day, his son uh, tried to break one of these horses and ride it and was thrown and broke his leg. And they all said, oh, dear, that's too bad. And he said, maybe. <laughs> the following day, the conscription officers came around <laughs> to recruit to force people into the army, and they rejected his son because he had a broken leg. And all the people came around and said, isn't that great? And he said, maybe. <laughs> you see, that is the attitude of not thinking of things in terms of gain or loss, advantage or disadvantage, because you don't really know. You never really know whether something is fortune or misfortune. It's a great story. It has changed my perspective on life a little bit. So maybe maybe it's good maybe it's bad you don't know yet you don't know the end maybe what you can't get what you can't have maybe it's setting you up for something better something bigger my name is makasi i will talk to you later about these trousers <laughs> bye bye